to another one. Coming at you with another home vlog. Actually, we're getting ready to leave, aren't we? Yeah. We getting ready to go see Frederick? Yeah! <laughs> we gotta take Fred some dog food. That boy, oh, he's been working hard. He's been eating all of his dog food. He's been a trooper. Me and the kids, we're gonna go take him some food and we're all gonna see him together. And then, when Mama gets home, we got something to unbox, don't we, babies? Yeah. Yeah. We got this right here. Check it out. I have an idea what it is. It comes from one of y'all, and it's probably one of the coolest gifts that we've ever had uh, for the channel, for the lodge. Do you guys know what's in there? Mm -mm. Oh, I have an idea. But one of y'all sent three boxes full and it's an awesome gift. We're gonna open it when Beth gets home, but until then, let's go see Fred. Let's go do some running around together. Come on, kiddos. From the bottom of my heart, I appreciate you guys being here and enjoying the daily uploads. I've been trying to upload daily. I hope you guys are liking it, loving it, and wanting more. Oh, are you excited to see him? Yeah, it's only I can been see Blaze. Yeah, we can see Blaze too. Oh, he's excited to see us. Look at him. Go get him out, sis. Go get him out. Oh, everybody misses him. Everybody misses Frederick. Let's get him out. Oh, hi, Frederick. Oh, hi, big boy. Come on. Oops. Ho, ho, ho. Come on, boy. That's our boy. That's our boy. Sit, sit, sit. Oh, 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 he's just grunting. He's going, Dad. Dad, I miss you. Oh, there's your baby. Oh, he's a big boy. Set, set. Hi, buddy. Hi. <laughs> oh, Freddy Rico. What are you doing? Oh, Did Frederick. Come Did Daddy come see you? Oh, yeah. Did he come see you? Told the kids I was coming out here. Fred, out of the road. Told the kids I was coming out here, and they're like, oh, we're going. All of you dog watchers, all the dog videos that we've been doing, I told you about food. There's been a bunch, dude. There's been a ton of questions about food. This is what we were saying, just a 30-20 blend. 30-20 formula. It's 30% uh, protein, 20% fat. Right. Any any high-quality food, 30-20, that's what you need to get. Yep. You ready for Fred to come back home? Yeah. Me too. You ready for Fred to come back home, Bubba? Yeah. They don't want to leave Fred, neither do I. Uh, but I'm in a little uh, predicament. I got rid of the old Dodge, the old half ton, and it had the topper. Um, I'm really debating on putting a topper on this truck just because it looks so good without one. You guys gotta drop a comment down below. Should I put a topper on this truck? Or, or, if I don't put the topper on the truck, I want somewhere for Fred to be and not inside all the time, especially when it's muddy. Y'all have been telling me I need to get one of these bad boys. They're extremely expensive. I've been looking into it, but boy howdy, they're expensive. What should I do? What should I do? Drop a comment down below. Let your brother know. Well, I'm just pulling up here at home. This video has taken a turn. <laughs> Uh, so I was driving down the road. I didn't get to film any of it. It happened so fast. I was driving down the road and I happened to look over and there was a garage sale. We, here in Kansas, it's something about Fridays and Saturdays. We always have garage sales galore. Hey, I used to garage sell a lot, but my garage selling days have came to an end here recently because the YouTube channel's just gotten so busy. So I found something I was interested in and I was kind of forced to buy it. Like I said though, we will be opening these here in about, I don't know, for you guys, probably five minutes. These bad boys right here, I know what these are, but check out the beauty boys. Nope, 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 not, not this old good looking girl. So, I walk up there, uh, it didn't even have a for sale sign on it. I asked the guy what he wanted for it, or if it was even for sale, he's like, yeah, everything's for sale. You know, the normal response from any dude out there. Everything's for sale. I'm like, well, what do you want for it? Does it run? Blah, blah, blah. He goes, yep, it runs. Go ahead and fire it up. Uh-huh. Look, look. Uh-huh. Hold on. Yeah, look. Freaking rope broke on me. The good thing is, though, I fired it up. Uh, it, it fired up. That's a good thing. I mean, it was like, 
uh, the switch. I turned it on, threw the choke on. After three pulls, the fourth pull, broop, it just fired right up and purred like a kitten. So, uh, the rope broke. I turned off the motor. I'm like, well, it looks like I just bought it. He was like, no, 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 don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. And I'm like, no, nah, man, for what the boat's worth, I just broke the whole thing. I know, these are cheap. I'll buy another one. We'll fix it. I really wish I could start it right now. I was so excited to show you guys. But this here, this is a new, this is a two-man old unit. It's got a really nice trailer. The trailer is gorgeous. Not going to lay out, you know, um, not bad. Just got some flake in the uh, paint there. But honestly, it does have some uh, mud. It's been sitting in here for quite a long time. Not bad, though. Uh, came with a free mojo pole. There we go. But it's uh, got a little long shaft on it, a little long tail uh, Briggs and Strat motor. It's a 900 Intec, old nine horsepower, 205 cc with a little rig here. Now, as you can tell, it is uh, uh, ratchet strapped. It's actually like ratchet strapped together because this whole whatever system brand of uh, long shaft this is. It's just built extremely weak. See how thin that stuff is? It's like sheet metal. And basically, this had bent down and he's trying to hold it together. So she needs, she needs some help. She definitely needs some help. He showed me this as well. It's awesome though. It's got grease zerks on it. Uh, but this is, again, really flimsy. Once it bends down, it kind of gets in the way of the prop and it doesn't actually work how she's supposed to. As you can see, the seats have seen better days. Uh, I was really scoping her over because I was actually gonna throw it, uh, throw a new rope on it and try to get it out to the lake so we could drive it during this video, but it's not gonna happen, check it out. So right there, she's got a drain plug issue there. I don't know what's shoved up in it. Kinda looks like a shotgun shell, but I don't know. I did say the light. The light here does work, uh, but not a bad looking unit, right? Not bad. Heck, I done gave the the other dream boat, my duck boat, my big one, I gave it away. Y'all seen that video. And if you didn't see it, I gave it away to the t-shirt of the month winner for a whole last season. Uh, just to remind you guys, we are going to have another ducks t-shirt of the month giveaway. Uh, here very, very soon, we will be announcing what we're giving away this year, but I'm... I don't know, you know, I I got a smoking little deal on it. You wouldn't guess what I paid for it. How about this? Drop a comment down below. Take a guess what I paid for it. Whoever guesses it first, I'll send you a duck's hat. How about that? He said he had it out last season. It's got an 18 uh, tag on it. So he was like, heck man, it'll float right now. And I'm like, sweet. Oh, look at that. I was like, sweet. Uh, I'm going to take it out. But then I seen the drain plug. Check this out, even came with a free crescent wrench. There we go. I don't know what this is. I think that's a light. Looks like everything's pretty torn apart. This is my budget little duck boat. This is gonna be, what this boat's gonna be used for, one of two things. I'm gonna try to get the motor running. I'm gonna try to get it all beefed up. If I can't, I'm just gonna find a little bitty motor to put on it, like a little like Johnson 2015 horse, uh, 10 horse or something basically an outboard motor that will be a little more reliable than this unit because i really want to use it at the lake uh before the season fires up here and before i start guiding at the lodge i want to be able to go south to my local lake and this would be perfect because that would get us two two of us out there i would i really want to use it for a lot of solo dolo public duck hunts on big lakes that's my goal before november fires up with the guiding like i said I will not guide on public land. That is illegal. You can't do that. But I'm going to use this bad boy for some solo hunts. You know what I mean? Little two-man hunts. Big lake action. I love it. Check it out. Isn't it sweet? I don't know. I thought it was cool. And like I said, I did not pay much for it. But honestly, other than the little motor issues, uh, the drain plug, the hole, I looked at the entire hole, the whole bottom of it, and she's a beaut nothing wrong like i said the trailer it's freaking nice i'm stoked on it man well here we are at the lodge lots of work going on in here 
Uh, so what this is, this is sent by one of you guys. I just read your note here. Thomas, dude, this is amazing. He gave us a description of what's in all three boxes here. So a couple things, if you guys wanna send something, the PO box is down in the description below. Just like Thomas, he uh, actually, he hit Gerald up on Facebook. Uh, and that's another thing, number two, before we get into this little unboxing, is if you guys are interested in booking a hunt here at Sandhill Flyways with Gerald and myself, and you don't have Instagram, but you have Facebook, hit us up on Facebook. The Facebook for Sandhill Flyway, I will link down in the description as well. Hit them up. Just like Thomas did, this is gonna be an amazing little unboxing, y'all. All right, here we go. Box number one of three. Oh, he packed them good. He packed them good. Now, y'all can send anything. Just make sure it's legal, appropriate, respectful, just like this. Look at this. He asked Gerald on Facebook, he said, Gerald, would you guys be interested in some antique floater decoys? Look at that beauty. I love this. It even has its last name on the bottom. These are some old herders. Man, this is awesome. Old, old lead weights. Check them out. Dude, how many is in this box? One, two, ooh, look at this guy. He's got a lot of character. Old, old brown string. Look at the weight. You can tell what that is. That's a uh, homemade lead weight there. I can guarantee it. But look at that old decoy. Wow. Oh, that is an old herders as well. Holy smokes, he sent a lot. Look at this old guy. He's got a motion head. Wow. Look at that old weight. Dude, Thomas, you killed it. These are gonna look awesome. That's a foam decoy actually, check it out. Foam, these are gonna look awesome in the lodge. This is the stuff that I love receiving from you all for the lodge. This is gonna look awesome. Wow, he really sent a lot of stuff. Oof, look at this guy. Look at that old hand mallard there. You can tell it's hand painted on there. Big old lead weight. Oh wow, he sent a longer note. Thomas, he is 72 years young. It just shows you that the vast audience that we have here on the channel. Very, very awesome letter. Thank you so much. Um, he says, I suggest linking a physical address for UPS FedEx deliveries. Yeah, I hear you. But uh, these are all JC Higgins herders. So awesome. So check it out here. We're just two boxes in so far. His note does state that these are very hard to find decoys. Um, I'm not gonna ask how much these are all worth. Check out the old burlap bag he sent. Oh, it's gonna look so good hanging on the wall with uh, the floaters hanging next to it. Oh, this is killer. I mean, it doesn't get any better than this, y'all. Let's open, let's open the third box. All right, all right. Third and final box. I'm blown away. Thomas, you, you shouldn't have, I mean. I get now, I, I say you shouldn't have, that probably sounds rude and I don't mean to be that way, but this is, he said that when he was a little boy, these are the decoys. Now, mind you, Thomas is 72 years old. He said that when he was a little man, that these are the decoys that his daddy hand painted. As you can tell, a lot of them are hand painted. And these are the ones that he went out with his dad and used that long ago. So special. Here's some more, these are all majestic brand. Majestic brand decoys. Man, y'all ought to go online, search majestic brand decoys, and let me know. I'm going to after we get off of here, but oh my goodness. I'm just blessed, man. These old weights are so cool. I'm blown away. As you can tell, my whole demeanor has changed. I'm just blessed. This whole lodge, all the help I've been getting with the lodge. I've been asking y'all for decorations and look, you guys just come through. Just everything, look at that old can, well that might be an old, that looks like an old canvas back decoy. Beautiful, man. These are so cool, Thomas. You're blowing me away. I'm blown away. Check out this guy. I mean, I don't know, Thomas, correct me if I'm wrong. 
But this looks like the oldest one that you sent. Decoys Unlimited. Oh man, it's got some mud on there where he tried to repair it once or twice or five times. Look at this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Dozen and a half. I I don't know. Thomas, would you be mad if I went and did a uh I don't think he'd be mad if I, I know, I'm not going to hurt him if I use him maybe once. We're going to have to do an antique decoy duck hunt challenge. I mean, that's a dozen and a half decoys, y'all. And look at them. They'd be perfect for that big lake situation I was talking about. Just an array of divers. Look at this. Got a black, looks like a coot. Does have some curls on the end, but it's black. That looks like a coot to me. You know, the old coot pa painting the, remember painting some of your decoys? black to match a coot it works do you think these would get it done i do i think it'd be fun thomas if i use these would you be mad i don't want to disrespect anybody but i think it'd be a cool video to shoot some ducks over them at least one more time and make a video of it so you could watch it as well i think that'd be special and then we can throw them back on the wall i feel blessed thomas uh from the bottom of my heart thank you so much um, there are so many great human beings out there and there's so many great human beings just here on this channel with me and I cannot thank you all enough for being here as you can tell I'm sweating I don't have the AC on but I don't care that's beautiful y'all are beautiful thank you so much like I said if you guys want to send something uh, to the lodge like this some decor anything the PO box will be linked down in the description below Thomas again for the probably 50th time Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Okay, sorry Thomas, I probably just made you really nervous. Nope, just found three more. So that is 21 decoys. I forgot I set those aside when I was unboxing them. Well, it is time to feed the chickens, the ducks, and the pigeons. All I own is birds. That's me, the bird guy. Look, they're waiting. They know what's coming. What's up guys? What's up? You want some food? Look, look where you going. Yeah, that's for the pigeons. Watch, they're hungry. Come on, come on, yo. Come on, come on. There you go. I think the chickens are hungrier than anybody. Check this out. Here's the pigeons. Look at the babies. They're all on the ground eating on their own now and uh we have some really pretty ones that guy right there and that guy right there are really unique there you guys go yep, i knew you'd be down there in a hurry man they get down there trying to beat the babies to it now <sighs> but i really want to thank y'all for being here i hope you all like my new budget duck boat uh i like it it doesn't fully replace the old one i had last year i mean the brand new one i had last year but it's going to do. Uh, it's going to get me out on big water by myself this uh, early season. I'm talking some teal hunting on big water, uh, some October hunting here in Kansas on big water, all public before the guide season starts up. So that's my plan. I'm sticking to it. I'm going to get to water in the ducks and change your water. But I hope you guys liked today's video. Subscribe if you haven't. Hit that little notification bell on there because it'll notify you when I upload. I've been trying to crank them out. Hunting season's coming. I'm trying to get used to the hustle and bustle so I can almost crank out every day, like five to six days a week. When the guiding season comes at the lodge with all the new clients, I'm hoping that we can darn near, by that time, go daily. So, if that sounds like a good idea to you, let me know down below. But again, for the third time, thank you all for being here. We'll see you on the next one. I've been getting laid back, baby, you should know that I don't need your criticism, pessimism.